Hello, my name is James Moriarty and I am a partner in Groundswell Arts youth music funded programme, Sing Our Story. I'm here today to share some songs that I like to use when working musically with young children, so children in the early years typically, and these are songs that I have found are always a hit with those young children and even with parents and families as well. So I thought I'd share a few of them with you today. We've got some songs using instruments, some songs using props and using different kinds of singing as well. So there should be lots of ideas here to get you inspired. Um, the first song I'd like to share with you today is a very simple welcome song. Um, it actually takes the tune of a kind of well-known or a slightly forgotten uh, Swahili smash, Jambo Buana, and repurposes them into a welcome song. So what you need to do is you need to know the children's names or at least ask their names. And it's a great way to learn children's names, this song, actually. I often use it at the beginning of a session, particularly if it's a new group of children that I'm just getting to know. So um, the song goes like this. It goes, if I was going to sing it to myself, it would go, Hello, hello, James. It's nice to see you. How are you today? And that's all there is to it. But what I like to do is ask each child not only to tell me their name, but also to suggest an action that we can perform whilst we are all singing the song. So I might choose a little shake like this. And it's a nice way to get children's ideas incorporated into the song very early and into the session, and also to get people moving around in response to and in time with music. So it's a really, really nice thing to do at the beginning. You can go around the circle and they all join in together. So it would go like this. Hello, hello James, it's nice to see you. How are you today? And then if I ask the next child in the circle what their name was, they might say that their name was Natalie. So then I might say, Natalie, what's your action gonna be? And they might wanna do a dab. So it might go, hello, hello Natalie, it's nice to see you. How are you today? And we go round and round the circle, singing all the children's names and using whatever action they would like us to do. And it's a great way to start the session. So that's my little welcome song. The second song we're going to have a look at today is all about a little kangaroo. The song is a great way to get children moving on the beat and even jumping. And any song that involves children jumping is always a winner in my experience. So I normally start with one finger and we're going to make that one finger, which represents our kangaroo, we're going to make it jump on our hand. So the song goes like this. One little kangaroo jumping up and down. One little kangaroo jumping all around. One little kangaroo having lots of fun. Jumping up and down in the sun. So I typically introduce this with the fingers first, just to keep the energy a bit more manageable. Um, you can then add two fingers, so it would be two little kangaroos jumping up and down. Two little kangaroos jumping all around. Two little kangaroos having lots of fun. Jumping up and down in the sun. And I'll normally go all the way up to five to introduce children to the song so they become familiar with it and get them used to this idea of moving on the beat. And also the increasing numbers are relevant when we move on to the next stage of the song. I should say that with this song, I'm not looking for children to sing the song necessarily, although many of them will attempt to, because actually it's quite a big vocal range or some big leaps in the way, jumping up and down in the sun. So it's quite difficult for developing voices, but it's a really, really fun way to get people, children moving in response to music. Something else you could use, would be a lovely little giraffe puppet. This is my friend Johnny the giraffe. So if I was going to use Johnny then I would go around to each child individually or maybe any particular children who I thought could really use a bit of attention that day and I would use Johnny to jump maybe on their head or on their knee or just in front of their face, whatever felt comfortable to them. So it'd be one little kangaroo jumping up and down and so on with Johnny the giraffe. Um, but the real fun of this song comes when you ask the children to become the kangaroos. So if I had Yasin in my group, 
then I might ask him to be the first kangaroo. And he would come and stand in our circle. And then whilst we sing the song, we're all going to clap along. So we'd go, one little kangaroo jumping up and down. One little kangaroo jumping all around and so forth. And Yasin gets to jump in the circle and have the absolute time of his life, be the centre of attention. Then when he sits down, I normally just pick the next two children in the circle to avoid any potential uh, sources of conflict or tension so that every child gets a turn and you can go around two kangaroos, then three kangaroos, then four. And the way I love to end the song is if I think the group's energy is in the right place, we go with lots of little kangaroos jumping all around. Lots of little kangaroos jumping up and down. Lots of little kangaroos standing out of fun. Jumping up and down in the sun. And normally I try and remember the words when I sing it as well, which makes it even better. So at the end there, they'd all be jumping around the room um, and having the most fun that they could ever imagine having, which is really, really a nice way to um, end a session or to begin a session. The next song I'd like to show you uses some lovely colourful scarves. Um, and I love using colourful scarves for this song. I mean, who doesn't love using colourful scarves? But specifically for this song, because this song is all about throwing and catching. And I think scarves are great for this um, because they fall so slowly, they're really easy for children to catch. And in fact, the fact that they fall and kind of hover in the air makes them really engaging for children on a sensory level as well. Plus, there's no chance of anyone getting hurt or anything getting broken when you're throwing scarves around, which is always a good plus with young children where coordination and motor skills might not always be what we would expect from an adult. So um, the song goes like this. It goes, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch. Jig, laser, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch. Jig a laser, na 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 So that's the song. Um, just to go through it a little bit, the first part is quite self-explanatory. You throw and catch when the song says to. And then the last word, jike laser, means turn around. So you can either just turn the scarf around your head, which is quite nice, and uh, good for any children you might have who have a limited movement, or also um, really good if you're not quite in this place where you want children to be moving around the space too much yet, if the group's a bit restless or a bit too energetic. Um, but if you can, get them standing up and spinning around, because um, that's really, really an exciting part of the song. Um, the next bit is na 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 um, the rhythm isn't too important here but be really clear that it doesn't start on beat one so i often like to put a stamp there i go stamp na 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 stamp na 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 stamp na 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 jk laser and when we're na 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 it's just shake your scarf as fast as you can which the children really love um Something I love to do with this song as a, as a warm up to it is to imagine we're throwing and catching an imaginary object in the air. So I often talk about using a ball and it's a great way to get children exploring the whole of their vocal range. So we'll throw the ball together, we'll go wee and all we'll clap to catch it. And then we can start to add a bit of some dramatic elements to it as in imagine we had a really, really big heavy ball. What sound would that make? It would go and, oh, it's really, really hard to catch. And then we've got a teeny tiny little one and it goes Wee! and we can catch it. So great for using different vocal tones, adding an element of characterization and also fits with the whole concept of the song. So um, the song one more time goes like this. It goes throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch. Jig laser throw catch throw catch throw catch Jig laser na 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 Jig laser na 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 na
and that's the whole song. The great thing about that song is it can go round and round and round as many times as the group have the energy for, because it just keeps repeating and it goes straight back to the beginning. Throw, catch. So um, you can keep that going for a long, long time. So the next song I'd like to show you is a song that can incorporate actions, but can also be a great way to introduce instruments to the session and pitched percussion particularly, which can be a, a tricky thing to use with young children. So the song is all about an elevator. So I start by asking the group, what is an elevator? Because they might not know the word, they might know it as a lift. Some of them, get, they get confused with an escalator. And what I'm looking for here is an elevator is something that takes you up and it takes you down. And that's all that happens in this song. So it goes like this. Elevator, why don't you take me up, 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 up? Elevator, why don't you take me down, 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 down? Now that's all there is to this song, but there's a lot you can do with it. The first thing I invite the children to do is to show the up and the down with their hands. And if you'd like to, you can be quite particular here about the fact that there's five steps. Do, re, mi, fa, so, so, fa, mi, re, do. So asking them to show those steps. If you were working on solfege, perhaps with slightly older children, you might even want them to do the hand signs. So that would be something you could add into it as well. Um, but it gets really, really fun and kids really love it when you ask them to do it with their whole body. So if I move my chair out of the way, it would go like this. I'm going to disappear out of the camera, but it's supposed to happen. It goes, elevator, why don't you take me up, 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 up. Elevator, why don't you take me down, 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 down. And children love it when you do it that way, using their whole bodies to show the rise and fall of the elevator. Also a great way to explore voices. And I also use this as a vocal warm up actually, because if you start to change the sounds, so we could say, um, what are we gonna do in the middle instead of up, 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 we're gonna go va, 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 va. Elevator, why don't you take me va, 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 va. You can think of lots of different sounds there or can try using some funny voices. So it could be the Wicked Witch of the West going, Elevator, why don't you take me up, 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 up? Or anything else that you like. So there's a lot of potential in that song, just to explore the voice. But I wanna show you now what you can do with some instruments. So I've got here some chime bars. I've actually got five of them all together. So I've got C, D, E, F, G, the first five notes of a C major scale, um, which are the five notes that we use when we sing the up, 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 and the down, 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 down. So this is a great way to get kids playing pitch percussion because the shape is so clear and it's told to you by the song. So it would go, elevator, oh, nice no, bit lower than that. Elevator, why don't you take me up, 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 up? Elevator, why don't you take me down, 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 down? And what's fantastic about this is you can use any pitch percussion. So I really like chime bars because you can give individual children one chime bar each. So they have to work together as a team which means more children get a go at using the instruments, which is great. And also that there's less pressure on any individual child to perfect the melody. Um, you can use little bells, hand bells, or you can use boom whackers are really, really fun as well. So anything which gives you a five, five notes going up and then down is, is really, really good for this song and a great introduction to pitched percussion. I'd like to show you a couple of other songs now that I use um, when I'm introducing instruments into a session. And these are typically songs that I'd use more for unpitched percussion, so drums, shakers, claves, things like that. Um, the first thing I like to do is have a song to sing when I'm handing out the instruments. So I try to be really clear with children what my, my rules are for using instruments, and there are only two of them. One is that you have to be gentle, that's all obviously in order that we don't break the instruments. So I talk to the children about what being gentle means, what would not be gentle, what would be gentle. 
And the other rule is that you're only allowed to play the instrument when you've been asked to. So when they're not playing the instruments, I ask children to put them on the floor, in front of them, out of their hands. And that way, it's really clear that they're listening and there's no kind of background noise of children fiddling with instruments, which I would be just as guilty of at their age and, and probably actually even now as an adult if I had an instrument in my hand. So I just ask them to put them all down. This is my signal, it means stop, put your instruments down. So I introduce those rules first, but I'm also very aware of the fact that asking a young child to sit there with an instrument that's just been given to them and not play it is really, really hard. So what I do is I, I have a song that I sing as I hand out the instruments that I encourage children to play along with. So I've got my lovely little egg shaker here and the song goes like this, it goes. Can you play along with me? Can you play along with me? Can you play along with me? Oh, can you play along with me? And that's all there is to it. It goes round and round. So what I'll do is I'll go around with a, a box or a bag full of instruments and I'll give each child an instrument, one after the other, and I'll say to them that you can play your instrument as soon as you get it, but only if you try to play along with my song. And then at the end of the song, I do a big clear stop and wait until all the children have put their instruments down before I carry on. So just one more time, the song goes, can you play along with me? Can you play along with me? Can you play along with me? Oh, can you play along with me? You can sing that song round and round and round as many times as it takes you to hand out the instruments. And often children will join in with the song itself as well. So it's a really uh, lovely opportunity to introduce quite spontaneous mus musicality into the sessions. Once they've got the instruments, however, we need something to do with them. So um, a game that I, or a song I really like to use is a little chant. And it goes like this. Listen to the sound we make. One, two, three. Our sound's the best, it's no mistake. One, two, three. We can play so many ways. One, two, three. We can play for days and days. One, two, three. And that's all there is to it. Um, I like this for a couple of reasons. One, it's kind of upbeat, it's positive, it gives a kind of collective message of here we are, making some music together, and doesn't it sound great? Um, on a musical level, it's doing a few things which I really like. One is it's encouraging children to play together on the beat, which is really important. And it's probably the kind of foundational skill for using percussion instruments musically. But also it's kind of extending beyond that because it's not just clapping along like the Can You Play Along With Me song, but actually it's asking the children to have an awareness of the musical structure so that there are some words and then there's a space. And you can, depending on your group, you can be really picky about asking for just one, two, three, and then no number four, which is quite tricky as well for some children. So um, I like to play around with that a lot. You can then also introduce new qualities. So it could go, listen to the sound we make. One, two, three. Our sound's the best, it's no mistake. One, two, three. We can play so many ways. One, two, three. We can play for days and days. One, two, three. Or it could go, listen to the sound we make. One, two, three. You get the idea. Really, really slow down, or really quiet, really loud, really fast. So a really nice song to not only get children playing together with an awareness of, of the structure of the music, but also to get them exploring how to create different uh, dynamics, different levels of volume, and also to play at different speeds which actually takes some skill and some motor control when they're using the instruments and is, is one of the real benefits of using instruments in a session. The last couple of songs I'd like to show you are really based around exploring singing for children. Um, these are a couple of songs that I love to use as call and response songs. So I'm a real fan of songs in which the children only have to learn one short musical idea and out of that we can create a much bigger musical experience. I'm also really interested in this idea of, of kind of embodied, in the moment music making. So of children being part of a real, live, changing musical situation. I think it's a really profound experience for, for adults and children alike. Um, and the challenge with young children can be giving them something to do that engages them in that process. 
Um, so these songs I really like for that reason. Um, I often use a ukulele when I'm doing these songs just because it creates a, a kind of ambience in the room um, and introduces a harmonic element as well, which I find tends to help unify people around a musical idea. So the first song I'm going to sing is, is a sea shanty. It's called John Kanaka. It's quite a well-known one. And the words are a little tricky, but, but really good actually for children to, to work on their articulation. So um, I start with the words and I say the words are John Kanaka. I get the children to say that back. And then it's John Kanaka Naka. See if they can add that. And then the last bit is John Kanaka Naka to lie a. So we try the whole thing. John Kanaka Naka to lie a. And then we sing it. So it goes. John Kanaka Naka to lie a. And you can show that structure with your hand. Now what I really like to do for call and response songs. I find that sometimes you get the problem where children don't understand that they don't need to sing everything that you sing. And I explain to them that I'm going to sing different things and that they should sing John Kanaka Naka to lie a. But I often introduce it so I say. Um, so can you sing after me? John Kanaka Naka to lie a. And they sing. John Kanaka Naka to lie a. And again. John Kanaka Naka to lie a. One more time. John Kanaka Naka to lie a. And then I say, well, now I'm going to sing lots and lots of different things in this song. But no matter what I sing, you always sing. John Kanaka Naka to lie a. Even if I sing something that doesn't make any sense at all, you still sing John Kanaka Naka to lie a. Even if you're not sure what I'm on about or why I'm singing at all, you still sing John Kanaka Naka to lie a. And through that kind of slightly humorous back and forth, they get the idea that I'm going to sing something and then they sing always the same thing back rather than trying to copy me. So the song goes like this, it goes. I heard, I heard the old man say, John Kanaka Naka to lie. Today, today is a holiday. John Kanaka Naka to lie. To lie, to lie. John Kanaka Naka to lie. And the great thing is there's a lot loads and loads of verses for this song. You can look it up online really, really easily, or you can invent your own verses. So for example, another one would be, um, we'll work tomorrow, but not today. John Kanaka Naka to lie We'll work tomorrow and make our pay. John Kanaka Naka to lie To lie to lie John Last thing I really like to do with this song, and I normally do this after I've introduced it maybe a couple of weeks earlier, is I ask children to sing solo. So for example, I might go, I heard, I heard Jasmine say, and then Jasmine sings, John Kanaka Naka to I, I heard, I heard Omar say. great song that it creates a real uh, energy in the room and you can introduce instruments as well if you want to kind of reinforce that sense of it being energetic and building up um, or you can invite children to sing solo and there's a lot you can do with that you can even introduce body percussion so it would be John Kanaka Naka to lie if the children are even up to it they need to be a little bit older for this one you can get them to do it in pairs so it would go John Kanaka naka to lie a, and that would be a high 10 when they do that. And children love that when they're working in pairs together. You can get them working with lots of different people and singing the song lots of time. So the last song I'd like to show you today um, fuses this idea of call and response singing with also playing instruments. So I'm going to start by using my egg shaker, but then I'll show you how you do it with a ukulele as well or any other harmonic instrument. So this is um, based on the... 
Toots and the Maytals classic, 5446 was my number. Which, if you're thinking, what's that? I don't know that song. It's the one which goes, you gave it to me one time. You gave it to me two times. You gave it to me three times. You gave it to me four times. One, two, three, four. And that is the basis of this song. So, um, typically when I've had children using instruments for a few weeks, so they're quite familiar with the idea of playing on the beat and with playing a certain number of times and with the structure of a song, I'll introduce that first section. So, all together we'll go, you give it to me one time, one. You give it to me two times, one, two. You give it to me three times, one, two. You give it to me four times, one, two, three, four. Now, that in and of itself is lots and lots of fun. And you can invite lots of different children to lead it as well, because it's quite a simple structure. You give it to me one time. It's an easy melody for them to sing as well. Na, 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 na. Those kind of cuckoo notes, so me, so me, which children find really easy to sing. Um, and the one, two, three, four is very predictable. So it's a great opportunity to get children leading parts of the session, which is always a really, really positive thing to do, I find. The next part of that song, which goes with it, is a recall and response. So it goes, I say yeah, 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 I say yeah. So I just ask the children to sing whatever they hear. And I can get quite freewheeling with that if I'd like to. I can go, I say yeah, I say yeah, whatever you want to do. Sometimes the children will always just sing, I say yeah, they'll always sing the same thing. Some children will maybe try and follow you and, and, and really explore the potential of their voice, which is great. So when you put it all together, you alternate the one, two, three, four section with the I say yeah section. So it goes like this. You gave it to me one time. You gave it to me two times. You gave it to me three times. You gave it to me four times. I say yeah. I say yeah. I say yeah. I say yeah, I say yeah, I say yeah, I say yeah, you gave it to me a one time, you gave it to me a two time, you gave it to me a three time, you gave it to me a four time, I say yeah, I say yeah, I say yeah. I say yeah. You gave it to me a one time. You gave it to me a two time. You gave it to me a three time. You gave it to me a four time. One, two, three, and stop. So you can keep that going on for ages, going back and forth between the I say yeah and the one, two, three, four sections. I find that the contrast switching between those two sections gives this song a lot of legs and it can really, really go on for a long, long time and create, again, a, a kind of immersive musical environment which can be really appealing for young children and quite hard to achieve sometimes. So that's all the songs I'm going to share with you today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you some ideas and some inspiration. Please feel free to go away and use these songs which, with whichever groups of children that you work with and adapt them to your needs add to them, change them in whatever ways you, you feel is appropriate. Thank you.